What's up guys, welcome to Vintage Genetics where it is all about classic bodybuilding and we are here in Best on an industrial terrain with all kinds of businesses and one of them is our gym, 100% fit gym. So this is a gym where I've been training for a couple of years, won my pro card, won my first pro show and now won the show that qualifies me for the Mr. Olympia. So let's check out what it's like inside and what I like to do on a day-to-day -day basis. All right, guys, we are now inside the gym, 100% fit gym. As you can see, we have quite a lot of equipment here and a very big rack. We've been here for about three years and since the beginning, a lot has changed for sure. And every single year we've invested more and more in this gym. And lately we have invested in ATX equipment. And one of that investments is this very big rack. Now for many people think that that's a pure CrossFit rack, but that is not only the case. Because what you can see at this is that's a very big power rack for eight people. So a lot of gyms have a power rack and it's always occupied. A lot of people wait on each other to make sure that they can able to do uh, you know, a deadlift or a squat or a bench press. Here you can actually put a bench on every single station and you have eight stations in total allowing you to do all your exercises, your free weight movements whenever you want. It's a very low chance that everything will be occupied when you're going to train here for free training. You can also see these G hooks right here, very sturdy and it's not metal right here so it won't damage the barbells that we have so they actually last a lot longer because a lot, not a lot of people think about the barbells being damaged but the knurling on the uh, barbells which is actually the grip you have on the barbells plays a very big role in exercises like the barbell row for example or even the bench press the nicer and more comfortable it sits in your hands, the more weight and more reps you're able to do. So having G hooks like this definitely helps in keeping that barbell as sturdy as possible. And we also have very high attachments right there. These are all pull-up bars, for example. Those will be, for example, for attaching uh, rings and ropes. I've used rings in my bodybuilding career myself for dips and for even push-ups, ring push-ups are very, very challenging. And I used to do those before this gym had a lot of other equipment, but they still remain one of the best bodyweight movements you can do. Just look at the gymnast's upper body. They do pretty much everything in the rings and their upper bodies are one of the greatest and most aesthetic that you can find. Next machine is an amazing piece of equipment we lately got because we were so happy with the ATX belt squats. We got other ATX equipment like this one, the ATX combo rack. And it's a combo rack because you can not only do a bench press, but also a squat in the same rack. We already have a very big rack in this gym, but using the combo rack, you still have a space left, even if the entire rack in a gym is occupied by a lesson, for example. Now, what you can see right here is that you have a very sturdy bench. You can attach, uh, you know, any barbell on top that you want. So this is a normal straight barbell. But as you can see right there, we have a Buffalo bar by ATX as well. It weighs 25 kilos instead of 20 kilos, a heavier, heavy duty barbell. And it actually has a curve in a barbell allowing you to go for a deeper range of motion, which is unique. Because if you imagine doing a regular bench press, the limit that you have is the range of motion stopping where the barbell uh, you know, touches your chest and with that rounded bar your hands can actually go past your chest allowing for a greater stretch which causes greater muscle growth what you can also do is of course change the height of these pins right here allowing you to put it to the perfect height that you want also the safety pins you can put at any height that you want but also you can remove this bench and then you can make it a squat machine as well so of course the bench press is the most popular movement but if you want to do a squat here that is very possible and another detail about this rack is that you can put 
these attachments right here in an angle to the inside, allowing you to grab it on the outside if you're a very wide individual. For example, if you're squatting and you simply don't have the shoulder flexibility to grab it on the inside, you can actually grab it on the outside, which is a very neat change in addition to this rack for sure. Now, next up is the assisted pull-up machine. It's one of my favorite movements to do at the beginning of a back width workout, for example. Pull-ups are one of the best movements to do anyway for the back, but when you're weighing about 120 kilos, it's going to be difficult to start your first set with your own body weight. So that's why it is an assistant movement. So you can use the weight right there to assist you in going up in the pull-up. You can grab it on a medium width or a very wide width, and that allows you to use different parts of your back to make it grow. And also you can use the dip movements on here as well, but I do prefer the dip movements on the ATX belt squat machine because that is a bit more free, but if that's occupied, you can always use this one as well. And then we also have a free weight chest press right here, which is very heavy. I've been in a lot of gyms that have chest press machines with a stack. Even if you put all the stack on there, it simply still feels like a warm up. And that is not heavy enough if you're a true serious bodybuilder. So here you can actually put on free weights, allowing you to make it as heavy as you can possibly can make it. And if that's still not heavy enough, just like with the leg press, you can attach bands around it, making it even more of a tougher movement. So that's the chest press right here. Okay, we arrived at the loose weights, the free weights of the gym, the dumbbells. One of the most important aspects of a gym is having heavy enough dumbbells. This gym used to have 50 kilo dumbbells at the very start, but as you know, when you get stronger, you need heavier weights. So right now we have dumbbells from 50 to 70, all the way to zero to 70, with two and a half kilo increments. So even, for example, if you can do 60 kilos barely and you want to go to the next step, a lot of gyms don't have 70 kilo dumbbells. That step is simply too big. So we decided to have two and a half increments. So every time that you get stronger at a dumbbell and you want to go to the next level, the step won't be too large for you to fill immediately. So that's a very nice touch of these incredible dumbbells and they're all a solid piece. So you can theoretically drop them on the floor. It's not advised and they won't break. So that's also the benefit of these high quality dumbbells compared to the most dumbbells you see in other gyms. And talking about free weight movements and exercises, this is a machine, it's called the ATX Bell Squat. I used to be a fan of a lot of barbell squats, but because of my length, because of my height, it was not really possible to keep doing them at a very high intensity, a very high weight, my lower back would be impaired. That's not what we want. So this belt squat from ATX is ideal to go all the way down, really feel the glutes, feel the hamstrings and the stretch in the quads, and then go all the way up without your lower back being impaired because the belt is around your waist. And the reason why I'm still calling it a free weight movement is because you are not really feeling like you're in a machine. You're simply going up and down and the weight around your waist feels free, just like the weight on your back would feel free as well. And you can also do dips. As you can see, these dip bars, you can put them at any height that you want. I can actually do dip exercises on this machine as well, using the same belt as an extra weight. You can also do some rowing movements. So this is a very versatile equipment piece. And this is the first ATX equipment piece we had and we were so satisfied that we actually bought several other pieces, which you will see in this video as well. Now the next one is of course the leg press. Now I'm starting with a lot of leg exercises because for me, the legs were a weak point and simply doing all those free weight movements was not an option. So what I decided to do, what we decided to do, me and my girlfriend Marley, we both own the gym, is that we decided to get some high quality, full range of motion leg equipment like this leg press. We actually went to the FIBO and uh, you know we tested it out there and it felt great. You can go all the way down and all the way up. So this is an amazing piece. You can put a lot of weights on there and if it's not heavy enough, put bands around them, which you also have a lot in this gym as well. Going to the hack squats, another amazing exercise 
This hex squat, as you can see, it has the bands already. I like to use those at the very bottom of the movement to free up your knees from the tension. And that works really well on this movement. And trust me, this one is a lot heavier than most hex squats that you know. So if you can fill this all the way up with weights, I applaud you because that's an incredibly heavy movement for sure. And then another leg movement is right here. This is the Smith machine. Now, it's not only used for Smith machine squats, of course, because you can do very heavy Smith machine squats. Also, for example, using the bands to you know, free up the tension in the knees. But you can also do a lot of bench press movements. You can do bent over rows in here. And you can do rack pulls in here, anything you want. So in a gym with limited space, you need equipment you can use for multiple things, which is why I showed you the ATX belt squat and also the Smith machine. You can use multiple exercises on the same equipment. And then we of course also have a cable station with a lot of different attachments. This is one, for example, that I purchased because it feels great on the triceps, it feels great on the biceps. But a cable station is also something that's very versatile to use in any workout. You can do cable flies, you can do barbell curls, you can do tricep pushdowns. You can even do adductor exercises for the inside of the leg. You can simply do a lot of movements using these cable movements. And not only this cable fly machine is here, but also this lat pull down right here. And the big benefit here is that you actually have two separate cables, meaning you can actually have two handles and use them unilaterally. For example, if your left side is a bit smaller than the right side, you use only the left first and then match it with the right to be able to match power, strength and size. And you can also use a lot of different attachments like this. You can see that attachment tree right there, purchase it. Uh, specifically for the ergonomic grip you can see right here, grabbing it like this allows you to use less grip strength and more focus on purely the muscle that you're using at that time. So you can use this for a lat pull down or a V-bar pull down or any other pull down variation. And another back movement you can do on um, that seated row right over there. And you can see that also here, there are two separate cables and I really like to use this. I showed you guys in one video a tip that if you use your left arm and the, uh, the right arm and the left cable, you can actually extend the range of motion outside of just going straight. You can actually go around your body and really stretch out those lats that way. And this is just an amazing movement to be able to use a lot of heavy weights and you know, get a full range of motion out of this as well. And if that's not heavy enough, we also, for example, have neat little details like this gym pin. So if you can do the entire stack, all you have to do is attach a gym pin in the stack and you can add multiple plates of 45 pounds or 20 kilos if you want. And trust me, before you're able to do that amount of weight, you already will be Mr. Olympia, <laughs> that's for sure. We also, of course, have isolation moving machines in this gym, and I specifically made them for the legs to really work on the quads on this leg extension right here. This one, trust me, is old school. It works with chains, so nobody in the universe can do the entire stack of this one without you know, ruining their knees, because this one is really heavy, just like this leg curl machine right here. And both movements you can, of course, do with two legs or with one leg at the same time unilaterally for extra variation and using different kinds of stimulus to you know, another workout, for example. But these two are great for developing that extra hypertrophy touch on those quads and the hamstrings. To perfectly utilize the space, we also have an upstairs here filled with some free weight and other machines, starting with the preacher curl, of course, the preacher bench, one of my favorite movements to retarget really that short head of the biceps. And we have a lot of different barbels, by the way. We have an easy curl bar, straight bars of 10 kilos, of 15 kilos, of 20 kilos, and also a multi-grip bar that you can actually use for triceps or a different grip on the bench press as well by ATX. And we also here have a very popular movement that I've been looking for a long time, the sissy squat. A lot of gyms have very, you know, 
unstable sausage squats, and that's not what you want at the end of a leg workout when you're actually doing this movement. You do not want to fall over because you simply don't have energy to catch yourself at all. And this is the seal row. Also an amazing movement for the back. It takes out all momentum and all you have to do is lay on your stomach, row the barbell upwards and really feel the contraction in the back. You can't use momentum and this is just another movement if you want to attach another row movement in your workout. This is another one to add for sure without using any momentum at all. And this is the regular hyper extension. It's pretty standard, but it's more sturdy than you can find in some other gyms, for example. But you can really use, uh, you know, train your lower back and your hamstrings here. And you can attach, um, you know, grab some dumbbells or a plate to make it heavier going up and down like that. But more importantly and more, you know, greatly, we have the ATX reverse hyper extension. I already made a separate video about this one. It's simply an amazing exercise to train the glutes with. A lot of people train their glutes with a hip thrust, for example, or having a glute machine. But this movement is a perfect combination of a free weight movement, but also a machine movement because you're stuck in one plane of motion, really isolating those glutes. And if you can't do very heavy hip thrust like me because of nerve impingement, exercises like this are amazing because it's very, very difficult to do. Which as a bodybuilder, that's what you want. You want to challenge the muscle with the least weight possible so you save your joints, save your tendons and only destroy the muscles. You also have two different attachments here. You have a belt to make it feel a bit more free, but you also have a roller support to be a little more sturdy in the movement. What we also have is here for the calves, the seated calf raise. I use that quite a lot, unilaterally or with two feet at the same time. Nothing too special, but you can add quite a lot of weight again because it's free weight. I prefer that to machine calf raises any time of the day. And we also here have the regular bench press. It was downstairs before, but the ATX combo rack is superior to this one. But why throw away a bench press at all? So we put it upstairs, so now we have two bench presses in this gym. All right, guys, that was a small and concise tour of this gym, our gym, 100% fit gym in best. So if you live in the Netherlands, make sure to message me or go to the website 100percentfitgym.com or .nl to see what this gym is all about. If you're interested in a membership, you can of course apply there as well. We of course have a lot more to show you guys, but you can watch my videos on this YouTube channel to see even more variety in the workouts than I explained in this video. I wanna thank you a whole lot for watching and don't forget to stay golden.